Good evening, everyone out there. Welcome to Vector Man. This is one of my favorite games growing up. DOS Postman here. General Range is right over here. He's going to be running. I'm going to be commentating for him. Hopefully, if we get this in, we're going to be racing against each other. We're going to be doing it on a lame difficulty. The reason why is because you get the health, you get the extra stuff, and therefore the game can remain really fast paced. As you're going to see through playing this game too, there's really not a huge life difference anywhere in the game for health of enemies based on difficulty. Therefore the health of the enemies would be exactly the same if you play on hard, so why not keep it interesting as a race to where anyone can win. All right. Can I get a countdown for me, you think? Three? No. Well, just kidding. You're going to have to... All right, we'll try this again. No, yeah. it's just... <laughs> well, we'll get it, it there. It does that. <laughs> he asked me too late. I did. I, I was slow. That's but, right. But now I'll be fast, because now it's a speeder. All right. This was my favorite game, as I said, growing up. It's a Sega classic. I wanted it so much. Three, two, one, go! Oh, right. And he's off. Right there on the start screen, first thing first, you can press start. You can mash through. And that just makes this level start faster so you don't have to watch all the rest of and stuff. Um, right when you press start, the timer starts. You're going to notice right away all the double jumps and the boost jumps. The boost is your best friend. Those boots literally save you or they don't. But hopefully they do because they'll save you more often than your gun. Uh, lock. That right there will destroy everything on the screen that's around you. So there's like four bad guys there. Just get rid of. I was gonna use a boost to just increase a little speed before dropping down to the boss, the sludge bar. The sludge bar. Is it? And one of the bosses you can't, you can't by boosting. You have to shoot. Um, so you're gonna see he's trying to stay with him, and he gets the two snipe. Oh man, I was close. Yes, very close. <laughs> but, but usually it's a two cycle. It is possible to get a one cycle, but it would require the most perfect shot. Here, once again, it's RNG on whether these things should actually really don't while they make figure eights and the clouds and then just like that, the level's over. So we're moving on to level three. Like I said, this is going to be a fast paced, quick game. You know, for all the Vector Man lovers that are out there, it should be an awesome race. For this level to make it right you can go either way for somebody. You get to here with like low life too, it would be so tough. Uh, turrets random RNG again on how they shoot you, so you're gonna wanna, you know, make sure that they're not. You can kinda tell when they're facing towards you, but they're gonna definitely shoot down at your feet like that. Right when it comes to the screen, uh, you'll know what to avoid it. But otherwise, their the movement is kinda herky jerky and they're random. There we go. Platform, stay above the water when you can. Uh, might play a little bit safe here, just to make sure. The section is, is the most you on those platforms. The most bizarre section is the holes that can fall in and fall down there. Uh, Side note uh, that I would tell everybody at you if you have a this level. If you go between those two sections of the platform, there's two sections of the platform. One has a times 10 amplifier and one has a. So if you're a player, you can get 10 lives on this level to make sure they can do that. Just like that, the general is off to the next level. Whew. The absolute zero. Way down Absolutely. the bottom of the sea. Batman tries to rise to the top. He's gonna have to use combinations of perfect. Plus, frog fish It looks like a frog, but the more picture it looks like a fish. Which is it? Find out soon this race. Here we go. Vector Man, climb it up. Gets to the next TV. Grabs the fish. Now he's a frog. So good. You're gonna get this to go all the way up here. I'm gonna try and hit some of these double jumps to end the level. Good, perfect jump there. Slightly missed it, but he recovered well. When you go for him and you miss, it, sometimes you just end up falling. Like, what the heck? Okay. Also, one thing about this game is lots of levels have different ways to the top. 
<sighs> if you don't find out where that missile is, you can also take the stairway up the right side of that level. Concentrate on that boss. <laughs> Took the safe route, just continue. Ideally, once again, uh, he's an RNG boss. You want to get to that side of him and hope that he stands up, and then you can just sit on his back and keep boosting, and the boost does damage like all the way up. <laughs> He's <laughs> probably going to grab this if you an vulnerability for a time period. In a race, you would pretty much have to grab it because it guarantees that you're not going to you know, get killed and have to go all the way back to the beginning of the level. And it's easy to get life by just being able to just play the level and get the life when you're standing back on you. Great manipulation there to get that guy to jump and just run it underneath him so you don't sit there and fight him. And the end of the level. Like we mentioned before, those double jumps are really short. Uh, you know, speeding up the speed at which Mega Man can scroll to the right. It's slightly faster than jumping, so. The drill more. Even though getting that more seems like it might would be slower than just running across the top, you actually have to end up down in this section, and when you go to the right, the other section of the top is a pretty good back down. So, coming down here, the routing on this level is the most important thing. Uh, you have to make sure you know exactly what you want to do. Get these jumps when you can. Um, it's got a tough boss at the end. The boss at the end is like a double jump work. Clockwork uh, shoots out these sprites everywhere. So you want to only shoot him in the head after he's finished shooting. So you're going to see the general is slightly trapped by the head. He shoots on the way up and the way down. He shoots on the way down and the bottom of the head. The enemy has to jump away from it. And one of them is up towards the head. Because it's based on how far the sprites shoot out, because that's all RNG as well. And so, you know. It's a great strat here. Here, another quick little level. You gotta make sure these things come close to you. you just, oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that wasn't the best RNG though. So you saw twice it stayed where those little buildings are. You actually can't move into those. So, you know, part of the strategy is the hope. <laughs> yes, the hope. <laughs> Very good. Okay, bro. I guess I just want to randomly duck. It's all right. It's no, a thing. I mean, it happens. Say your controllers are a little finicky on the direction. Sometimes. Totally might start ducking in the game. Hold on. Like this happened before, but keep going. It's fast. Whew. Good right. move there. That is a tough one to get used to. So you have to literally walk off the edge and then boost back up to that, that platform. But again, it, it's just knowing which bad guys are going to do what, knowing where they're going to be, knowing when to jump, getting good jumps. Great beginning. This level. The beginning of that level actually has a couple different strategies of how you want to start. Oh, wait. Goes back to the health. Ooh, and he's full health now. A times two multiplier. Every time you get a piece of health or anything, even these points, the word times two when you have a times two. And then in the game, there's times two, times five, times tens. But you don't bother to get them really because you want to run at the same fast. All right, the acrobats. We're gonna turn more into like a worm centipede thing here, though. Again, you want to use these boosts on them. So much more damage. And you got him. Ah, shucks. Cycle two. It's alright, it's alright. That level can definitely make or break a run. It's, it's probably the second or third uh, hardest level in the game. Yeah, not, not counting Warhead as a turn around. 
yeah, Warhead's that, that boss that just ends stuff, you know? I agree with you. Good level assessment. Get this jetpack. I'm gonna try and take it almost all the way to the very end of the level. You hope not to get shot by those guys because it takes all your momentum away. But it's perfect. You can only get a tiny bit further if you actually got didn't get you know shot that one time. But with a good jetpack there, knowing where to go. Quick boss here, staying alive. Awesome song though. Well, out on the dance floor with Warhead. Still got it. Again, in this game, you can only have three shots on the screen at a time, right? And A and B are shoot. So being able to spam the buttons like this makes it so that you can kill something that is so much faster. Good drop here. Gotta jump. <laughs> that was a brain fart. You pause there because you gotta face them down. And like I was talking about earlier, that's the only time you know for sure they're gonna shoot it. Alright. They give you kind of a warning when they're on the screen for a while, but I mean, when they're first coming, like, like as you're flying in the screen, let's yes. say you're jumping over them, you only know they're gonna shoot at you based on if they're facing directly toward the right away. They will definitely always take that shot, which is why they're under such a a lot of positions they can be in when you go to make the jump. If they're facing towards you, that first shot's coming down. Good jumps here. This level is also a very... This is, this is probably the second hardest level, actually. The other one would be the third for sure. As you can see, there's sections like this. All you... Oh! Darn oh, giant gaps. I was trying to get that and I thought I had it, folks. Again, in a race situation, something like that can happen. Um, I liked everything up until I fell. You were doing great. But missing that one jump knocked him all the way to the bottom. Uh, as a speedrunner, a lot of people know that that's when you would hit reset. But being a race, you gotta keep going. Yeah, we can't give up. Not now. We're too close at the end. Let's go. Alright, way to get to that platform there. Fell off the next one, but that's okay. I was just showing off and the platform. And that's what he meant to do. Yeah, there it is. Here we go. A duck under him. There's a gun up here at the end. Once in a while, the guns have weird iframes too, and you just have to know that you hit them with the first one, and then they'll die on time, so you can just keep running. But if the first shot doesn't hit him right away, then... This one's the downhill. You're gonna fall a bunch of times here with all these mosquitoes. You have to avoid good avoidance there. When they hit you, see the mosquitoes hit you a lot of times. Have a the row there. Have a fly. It's one of the most dreaded things when you're in this game too. Oh, and he makes it look easy. But right there, if you get hit by any mosquito, it stuns you in midair and takes away all of the time. So you fall straight down all the way to the bottom. And then you have to do all the of the Now the three bosses. Right, you just pretty much have to hug him and shoot as fast as you can. Piranha has a weird manipulation there, because when he gets hit, he's supposed to be like, mm -hmm, across the screen, but no, by jumping over it, it boosts it, for whatever reason, it like, uses it, and you get a boost. And then, the monkey. Yeah. With this guy, you have to shoot him to make him drop to the bottom, and you can boost jump over his head. But he moves really quick, and it takes a while. It takes some good practice to be able to do that, you know, like that. And actually, the first place we started practicing this was at the uh, SUDQ uh, practice room. That is true. That's the first time I really got to experience this game full on. Yeah, General Andrews had never played my favorite Sega game when I had a Sega game. So, you know, that was the only reason why we had to play this. This parachute right here can take me pretty far up this next game. 
But see all these little like hallways you can see off of it? You can go all those different directions. This level more than any other level so you have to go the route to take for the speedrun path. It took me forever. Here it's another double jump. Perfect double jump gets it first try. Again, those jumps, if you don't press the, the boost right at the peak of the jump, you miss the jump, fall back down, and you have to do it again. So you know, how do you get that double jump? The game like, teaches you that on this part, that, hey, if you do it perfect, you can do some amazing things. Woo! Nice walk onto that platform. That little pause there will help you get onto these weird things. The game has a weird mechanic with the two crisscrossing uh, platforms. Oh, I'll take that bonus health. Wow. And Woo. the end of studio auditions. Right. Pass your audition, you're on to Warhead. That's right. I've earned a date with Warhead. <laughs> I love how this level is called Twist and Shout. Also another good song. I wonder if he'll give me a uh, rose at the end of this. I like how they have staying alive and twist. Are you the makers of the game? I mean, who doesn't? Shit. Who doesn't love that? Right here, uh, there's not really any way to get up there any quicker. You can shoot these sprites to get them off screen in case they get in and lag, but it's not noticeable if it does. Warhead can sometimes be. That's what I was talking about um, in the other run, I believe. Uh, but yeah, he can become invincible until you shoot him sometimes once. And then all of a sudden, that also makes it so that his hands start dealing damage to you. Right now, he's just not playing nice. His box is not available for some reason. Oh, well, there we go. Yeah, fix it. Now you can boost him. I would like to get to that health. I would like to, but it's not happening. Once again, this can be the boss that makes or breaks a run. Oh man, that's a bummer. That was it right there. That was that was that was. Cool. He really got into a spot that it was it was tricky. But that's what this that's what this race doesn't come down to. Though. Like you're gonna want a big lead. So if you do, more than likely die. A yeah. warhead. Warhead could definitely make or break the run. It's gonna keep it interesting all the way till the very end. You know, uh, General and I have very close times. Ooh, nice hit on him. And we would just like to show off what an awesome platform this was Woo! for Sega Genesis. There yeah. we go. Nice run. <laughs> there we go. And really, if you look at it, that run was extremely good. And then just the death at Warhead was the extra, you know, minute. Yeah. Because it was a slow death, too, because I was trying to play it safe. I thought I had him. But that was good, though. What well, happened with that? Pure too. Well, I died. Yeah. That deaths will do that. But you, you take see, that away, though, and that's a minute. Because every death in this run can cost you X quite a bit. Of time. And that's why we want to be able to do the lane percentage versus something like uh, Insane, because Insane doesn't give you many, many lives. We want to keep pushing, push, 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 push. That way, it's exciting for everyone.